Good morning, so shall we start, sir? Good morning all. On behalf of IOT Academy, I welcome you all for the sixth session of National Level Faculty Development Program on the Art of Teaching. Let me introduce the resource person of today's session, Dr. KVNS Pavan Kumar. He is currently working as an Associate Professor, Department of Triple D in Chaitanya Dream to be University, Warangal. His qualifications include BTEC from Kakatiya University, MTech and PhD from Bharat Institute of Higher Education and Research. Dr. Pavan has 13 years of experience in the field of education. He handles various academic positions like head of department and NAAC coordinator. He has published several international journals and patents. He is also acting as a reviewer for International Journal of Research and Innovation in Applied Science. With this, I hand over the session to Dr. Pavan Kumar. So, please. It's very good morning and thank you, the Madam, for giving this opportunity. So, warm welcome to you. Uh, in these sessions, uh, we can uh, start the session, and that is uh, time and uh, stress management. Ma'am, will you please share that? I have received your presentation, sir. Uh, can I start sharing it now, sir? Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. Can I start sharing it now, sir? Yes, yes madam, you yes, can sir. Share, start sharing. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, very warm welcome to you. the topic of uh, time management and stress management. So I think you are all well, very well uh, proficient in your uh, scenarios or in your, uh, uh, what we can say in your domains. But we feel stresses and uh, we feel many difficulties in our professions due to various reasons. So the first fundamental today's topic is how to handle the time that we have and the stress caused due to the time imbalance or time mismanagement so because we all belongs to our uh, see we generally planned it because uh, first of all whenever we have to go for uh, any taking of your subject generally we first do the uh, concept is lesson planning so everyone will do it. But when we observe in practice of time, the planning or lesson planning activity, the real time activity is going to somewhere. There is a deviation here. in the lesson planning sessions as well as in a practical uh, planning sessions. But uh, why and how it causes? Because uh, it is not the problem of ourselves because it's due to various external reasons the in, imbalance between the planning sessions and the practical sessions is uh, that means there is no gap between the, your plan sessions and your, uh, your practical sessions so that leads to your uh, time so that means we need to uh, go much forward and due to this uh, completion of the course and due to this uh, uh, completion of activities or academics purpose it uh, creates some stress. So this session belongs to how able to maintain the time and how able we can efficiently manage the stress caused in our uh, professional careers. So let's start the session. That is what is time management. Ma'am, can you move to the next slide? So let us to take that uh, what is uh, time management. So what is that? It refers to a range of skills, tools, and techniques used to manage time when decomplishing specific tasks, uh, projects, and goals. This set encompass wide scope of activities. So the time management includes the planning of your activity and the time allocated to perform your activity and 
the order of your activity based upon your goals and analysis of time spent monitoring and organizing and schedule and prioritize so generally it is easy to say uh, that time can be easily managed but it is difficult to put it in your practice so it is theoretically it is very easy but it is very difficult to put it in your practice so that's what we will say we have a general proverb that is time and tide waits for none so here in our professional careers generally uh, what our lesson plans what we do generally when we teach any subject or any to go for a performing any activity related to a, our professional career generally we plan it so allocating that means how many tasks should be completed and how many methods it should be completed and what are the effective methods should be adopted to complete your task within a less minimization of time and how much time should be spent uh, to complete a say, uh, unit of the task and monitoring more most probably and most importantly the monitoring whether the task is going in a right way or it is deviating according to your plan so this is what your time management will include that means uh, it includes brief, uh, briefly we can uh, make it into a specific task which should be done and according the task should be done according to our projects that means the task which should be completed and the goals so this is basically the time management will include or simply i can say that how you are going to complete your work effectively within your minimization of your time it will with a minimum utilization of your time so all these patterns which comes under this process will be decided the time management process so the next slide please and next one is uh, time management and what is it so generally the time management refers to basically four parts that is a uh, doing the right things and not setting things right so that means uh, in the first criteria i am going to do whatever i require but i am not preferring that whether it should be done at this time or this should be done or can be done at the right time for example if you are in your general behavior right so taking or consumption of your breakfast is it you are generally you preferred at a particular of time that means you are doing the right things at right time but if if you take the lunch or a breakfast right at the different times but you are doing the right things but it not the things setting right so this is what you are doing the right things but not yet in a proper appropriate time and next one is being in control of life and not driven by circumstances this is the most probable and that is we are generally influenced by the circumstances or situations what we generally do it we react it but not respond it so there are certain conditions or circumstances that uh, come across in our life either in professionally or in a uh, personal life so what we generally think is whether it is a time to react whether we are reacting or responding there are two different things reacting means it includes the emotional and uh, responding is uh, always we are controlling the emotions that means in the case of we are reacting the emotions control ourselves where we are respond we control the emotions so that means that is the case being in control of life but not driven by circumstances and the third one is enjoying journey of life every day of it but not waiting for a perfect day in future so in this is also in this case we generally uh, make it a journey of life every day that means if we planned properly and according to our organizational skills or thing so we don't feel any pressure so that in our day to day life so that we can make uh, the life very perfectly but we won't wait for a day to be perfect simply i can say if we do our work within a regular time and in your appropriate time so we don't feel pressure from working between monday to saturday so and if we don't feel pressure from working monday to saturday we don't look for the sunday when it comes because we are enjoying this every day with our appropriate planning and next one is having a right balance in wheel of life so 
they we need to maintain the balancing between our professional and uh, personal careers madam next now what is the objectives of your time management that is to prioritize effectively multitask right so want uh, how what are the tasks you have to do it in your day to day life and we need to prioritize it which is the first one and the second one and able to identify the task which is prior that is uh, nothing but prioritize your task effectively when you are performing the multitask and manage and control crisis so that means we have a that uh, we generally feel pressure because you are a time deadline projects you to complete the task within a less period of time but we come across that it takes much more time to complete the task so generally in our day to day life we will assign a work by our management or uh, we know that it the work will be completed Here yeah, to complete it, we can uh, takes two or three uh, days to complete. But the management to put the pressurizers us to complete within a day. So that means you are effectively able to crisis. That is the management how to manage and your control is a crisis so that you can effectively complete the task so that with the proper time management. So if you are properly maintain your time management, then I can increase my productivity. So that leads to my efficiency levels. So if I properly time uh, manage, so that that will be completed within the time. So therefore, there is no stress on myself. So that by maintain your time pro management properly, I can reduce the stress levels also. So because of this factor, I can. Balance my personal and uh, professional priorities also. So, since the reduced stress levels are there, I can be more precise about my mission or about my future growth in my career at work because uh, my stress levels are reduced. So, all this will happens by maintaining the proper time management. So, it, by, once again, I said that time management man is easy to say, but comes into difficult. Uh, to put it in the practice because many other parameters will influence on the implementation of your time management so the next slide please so we have a word that is a time is many so we have many proverbs uh, in general and in the case of your uh, english literature also that is you can make money but you can't make time so this is what the importance of your time they have given to us so an inch of gold cannot buy an inch of time this is a chinese proverb which is generally used by this in this case of uh, chinese next one is while we can't change this we can what we can change is the way we use this that means here while we can't change this what is the, the significance of this word is we can't change the 24 hours of a day so that means i cannot change the time of a day but i can change the task to perform in a day so to what we can do it that means while we can't change this the time of a day but i can change all of the or order of the task that i can perform in a day so this is what which improves your time management so to effectively utilize this time we need to understand the most important for us and for our organization so this is very important task for any individual or any organizational sector so what is your main priority and what is your goal so the generally we know that goals will be are uh, two types of goals short term goals and long term goals based upon your priority of your goals i need to put a, a task which is important to achieve that goal and each individual must be effectively work to complete that goal within your time priorities so higher the focus on important things better will be the result so this is a case where we can that what we have to in order to complete a task first of all we need to what is the focus on the things related to complete the task so if you are much more aware about the things required to complete the task so the time consumed to complete the task will automatically reserve uh, decrease so that the result is better 
So this is time is money will indicate that. Next slide, please. So that is how you can managing your time. So now what I will take this time is abbreviated as things to first T stands for the things to do list. And the next one is the identify the priority. I stands for the identify priority and M stands for making it happen and evaluate deviations. So this is what about you are managing your time will indicate that the time is what the things you need to complete and among the completed things make the things into priority levels and uh, complete those uh, levels in order so that the things should be happen within the prescribed time and evaluated the deviations finally you should uh, take the df deviations why what or at what time it should be happened and what time it should is completed and if any deviations have been found out it need to be sought out to complete the remaining task within the prescribed time. So the next one, this is what the time stands for according to our time management. So the next slide, please. So that means uh, setting the goals. So here the goals, how to set the goals for to achieve the time management. The goals must be the smart enough. So what is the SMART means? Uh, yes stands for the specific, M stands for the measurable, and A stands for the achievable, and R stands for the realistic, and T stands for the time bound. So based upon these conditions, now your uh, goals must be fixed for better time management. How? Because yes must be the specific. So your goals must be very clear and precise. So what is your goal and what you should achieve it? That must be very clear and precise. And the next one, the goal must be a measurable. That means at what time that goal can be achieved, either within a day or within a month or within a year, based upon your types of goals. And you need to find it whether it is achievable or not. This is very important factor. That is uh, not only setting the goals, but whether it is achievable within your predetermined or uh, predetermined levels or time managed levels or not. So why? Because if my goal is far in a long term goal and you are want to finish it within a short term measurements, which is not a realistic and which is not possible to achieve within a short period of time. So this is what based upon all these uh, measurable parameters, your goals can be classified as either long-term goals or yeah, short-term goals. The next one. So, so management based upon your yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So what did you did yesterday and what you have to do it today and what you, what you are planning for tomorrow. So the yesterday case comes in based on the reminders. So that means we should, uh, what we have to do complete, that is a checklist and based upon the reminders and the simple notes and checklist so what i have to did so make it it as a list so that list uh, will be fulfilled some of that list will be fulfilled and some of them is left alone so whatever the incomplete task that are left by yesterday now the task will be to uh, come move forward to your the tomorrow's list so that means uh, from that checklist, what we will get in for is in the prescribed time schedule or within a specified time, uh, how many tasks we can do. So whether that indicates the efficiency of individual as well as the organization. This is very important thing because we generally remember what to do it. But when we come into the practice, some of the tasks we will forget it. So, and after some days of that, remember, then we will get remember that uh, some of the tasks are not yet fulfilled. So, based upon this, that means that the work which has to be completed within a day, it has been prolonged for a longer, more number of days. So, which is not good for any time management persons. So, in order to avoid those confusions, let you make a small checklist that should be put today. So, 
that today list we will perform some of the list and some of the tasks are uh, remain uncompleted so that incompleted that will be forwarded to your tomorrow's list so this is how one of the best way of your uh, management of your time so based upon the yesterday today's and tomorrow's list the next slide so for what is today that is yesterday's task what we have completed and from that yesterday's task we will gratify to into two categories completed list and incompleted list and uh, incompleted list will be forwarded to your uh, tomorrow's list but what we have to find out the today so first in order to start let us consider a task it will be started by you by today so before uh, starting today what is the requirements should be made by yourself in order to start a task that means first one is the planning and preparation of regarding the task that means you need to study the task well before it starts and then you categorize the task into modules and according to the modules planning should be done at what module should be performed at what week and then from that you will get an idea at what how many days it takes to complete a particular task if the number of days are more far consumed more than it requires then again you need to be reschedule or replanning so this is all the first stage of completing the task and then after that the calendars and appointment books so after planning and preparation so meanwhile i will just you to remind the task should be completed that the task should be reminded so either through calendars or appointment which we have in the mobile phones through that case we will just keep an a reminder to complete this task by this today itself or tomorrow or some other day now by making this uh, proper arrangement and preparation and uh, proper uh, uh, therefore it creates the efficiency in the setting and planning ahead so thereafter make appointments while complete the task we need to go for a uh, meet some other persons or we need to meet other persons to get some other data from others so let us make all those appointments uh, where we it is a uh, required schedule and then commitments and identify the deadlines so based on all the information that should be gathered then you have to give the identify the deadlines that means this task can be must be completed or be forced so if you there is very important thing after making all the information gathered in order to complete a task and all this information should be available at all times either through a mobile or computer or a network so that means if your work is professional so your professional work should be identified to your manager right and then you will get it is a, must be available to your computer or in a network next slide please so now this is a uh, one of the rule that we generally utilizing for the time management that is 80 by 20 rule so what is 80 by 20 rule is with the help of 20 to inputs i can get the an efficiency of 80% this is what the important things that we can uh, utilizes in every aspects whether it is a uh, college or whether it is a business field or whether it is a individual case that is 80 by 20 rule can be implemented now what is 80 by 20 rule means in order to complete a task right you have to prioritize the or prioritize the list of the things should be done to complete a task that means now because of doing this uh, individual things now more many number of uh, uh, inputs has to be required now simplify those inputs as 20 inputs then with this implementation of 20 inputs the 80 outputs can be generated so that the efficiency of the uh, to do a particular task will be very high with the minimal inputs so this is about the 80 by 20 rule 20 indicates the inputs required to complete a task and that is 80 will be there different different outputs or 80% efficiency in terms when we calculate it so 
during this way rule implementation what the necessary things to be done is it should be a critical few and the trivial many so that means uh, we have many more uh, information is listed to complete a task out of all this information you need to categorize which is critical and which is non critical so uh, based on the critical critical things and among that critical by implementation of one critical thing how many outputs can or how many ways that a task can be completed with the handling a critical thing that also should be identified so in order to implementation this technique you should be courage enough to implement with your convictions because all this depends upon your convictions that means if you feel it is critical then that the task is critical if you don't feel it it is a non critical then you can put it into your non critical task so that means you should be have a greater view of your the task on the task next is how this uh, classification then into critical case and a non critical case that is from the good judgment so the good judgment of the case from your experience whereas the experience comes from your bad judgment this is a cyclic manner the next one is uh, the next task can you move to the next slide please now how do you prioritize so what we did this two days uh, to, up to now is yes we have find out all the task requirement to complete a task so what are the necessary things are required to fill a task okay then how do you prioritize that means uh, how you give the priority so the priority of the task is give, will be given on the four that is do delegate delay and delete so do what the function has to be done and delegate then what the things has to be done and uh, things should be done so no delay if it is not necessary delete the task so that means uh, based upon these four criteria your task should be prioritized so that prioritization we will address the urgent task immediately so that we can fulfill, fulfill the task uh, very easily and by this achieving will we will achieve this task with the uh, improper that is deadlines that means uh, deadlines thing but time constraints so that is the case we are by prioritizing it we can complete the task more number of tasks within your prioritize the deadlines of your time so the next one so can i move to the next slide please so planning the day so how do you are going to planning the day generally we know it everyone will uh, speak that uh, so i am going to plan everything like this like this and so on so we have many more priorities the thing is whether you have to check what are your priorities is urgency or important so without knowing the task we will just make the list so the thing important thing is the list preparation if you are not aware the things what you are going to do it properly then unnecessary things comes into your first priority and the necessary things comes to and the last priority so this is what we generally do it see in our day to day life we have some leisure of time right this is all we know when we have a leisure of time we know it what the other things has to be done also so that means we make ourselves free right to from the task to so that we should be get re energized but we know that some other task should be also should be completed now what we prepare generally what we make is okay till now we have completed many more tasks so i was stressed right now now what i will do let us go for a chit chat session or i will go to either movie today and then we will start the tomorrow's work right this is the view because till till now you have completed your different task and you are frustrated with your vexed with your work and you need some uh, fun to uh, enjoy yourself with your uh, family sessions or with your families or your personal priorities but you know that some other work is still be com complicated to do it but now here what we will do is i my mind is thinking for to go for vacation but my professional has some work to do 
so this is what you have to prioritize which is urgent and which is important and this is what your planning is included the next one is get the timing right so you, the completion of work should be done in a appropriate time and how to think your right that means how to monitorize how to schedule or how to planning the day generally we use whenever we are free we generally go for planning it but the appropriate time of planning any kind of stress at during the morning session now interesting work thing work meetings and social events can take place in off peak time so that means whenever we free from the work so we will do generally we will go for meetings with other people and we will chit chat or we will go for the social events uh, when we are leisure so having work breaks to overcome fatigue this is what is generally we will uh, in our uh, schedule is from 8 to 10 hours right our organization will work from morning 9 to 4 during this 9 to 4 what we, our uh, what is work schedule is from some hours uh, some faculties or some teachers or some professionals we have 6 hours a day yes out of 7 hours daily they are going for 6 hours a day now where is the work break so that means uh, continuously if you are going like this, at some point of time, your interest on working on delivering the lecture gradually decreases and the delivering of lecture becomes mechanically, not your without any interest. So to reduce, then automatically the efficiency of the faculty as well as the efficiency of the students, which results in reduction of efficiency of organization, will become gradually decreasing. So here, the thing is, we need to plan a work week. So that means you just ask the your management or your take, we have to do some work weeks in order to come here to regain your energy. So leaving 100 friends in the present improves your work output. See, this is what we will do is, it's when we ask someone to complete your task, what some we generally listen, the reason is, yes, I can complete by nothing is there we can complete it tomorrow this is the small work they but today they are free but instead of doing the work today they will always uh, think about the tomorrows so today i have some work now i will complete it on tomorrow but we don't predict what tomorrow with us happens so that's what we will do is living 100 percent in the present improves your work efficiency or efficacy so shall i move to the next slide please so the most effective way uh, is one more thing is communicate to save the time. How the time management will uh, is one is communication. See what is the communication? That's all the all the English faculty members will come into a uh, communications part, and more many more uh, seniors also at communication. So I um, that is not much to say. It's, uh, communication is one more uh, getting out of getting your message effectively through different ways. The different ways may be the token words your body language and written words and visuals so all these are different methods to communicate right to the other person or behalf of your task which saves your time uh, this is a one of your best way of your communications so can i go to the next slide please see the good communication is a part of your body language words and the style so here that's what is just developing good body language that is a facial expression, the gesture and the posture, avoid that is a, a posture, this is a very important thing. See, this is what we generally face with any of our faculty members. So when we ask it, or any students, when we ask to present anything, so they don't consider their body language. Uh, they won't start try to communicate it. But before communication, they have to check all these your goal, their gestures and postures. So while we are delivering their communication or while delivering their matter, it should be very specific and uh, precise. And you must be making eye contact directly with the person to whom you are speaking, which indicates the, uh, the efficiency or your confidence levels on the subject criteria. And sometimes we need to communicate, right? phones 
in the case of this is what we will generally very frequently will observe it while starting it what we will say hello and we will start it so here in the case of your confidential that is uh, where is this uh, communication of your uh, personal or uh, professional so we should speak in the case of especially professional we should speak a slowly and politely manner so that a right time in the with minimum time right content must be delivered so this is what also one of your good communication while speaking you are phone but in general what we will do is we will prolong the matter right once we are prolonging matter continuously the content of the matter is uh, will go, will be diluted so it should not be more uh, precise and uh, clear the other person may not be visualize uh, clearly understand what you are going to say so the next one is while writing so while writing we use generally learn longer words we prefer you will use the shorter words instead of your the longer words in different criteria so next slide please now the band communication so what this all this not properly maintained what we have to do is i have to re uh, repeat every time the uh, content what i have to deliver so that the time consumption will be more and the content of the message will not be clear and incomplete data will be fulfilled in between the messages because we are not strictly delivering the message how to uh, fulfill it next not following up or flowing closing the loop so once we instruct to complete the task and we just we did not monitor whether the task is completing or completed or any difficulties in completing the task we just instruct and just leave it and not returning telephone calls or email messages so some persons have some persons have the right uh in a habit of uh, not attempting the phones or uh, giving a reply to email messages which were uh, urgent and uh, which were most important and next one is forgoing basic courtesy so forgoing basic courtesy means when we are lifting the phone or gaze or uh, in person we just what we will say is a good morning or hi sir and it is a formal courtesy but sometimes we forget those three and strictly enters into a matter which is a bad leads to your bad communication skills so that the time will be a waste next one is not listening to others what the other speaks and the third one is the spewing chronic negativity so when we usually talk with others what we should not uh, communicate about the third person's activity whom to whom we should whom whether they are not present at that time so that means uh, if you talk or if you are talking about any task we should not spread negativity regarding that task so this is much more important uh, criteria when we are communication process so the task has different uh, negativities but we should not expose those negativities we should clear those negativities so the next slide please so the next one is the stress so stress is an emotionally disruptive or unsettling condition of our mind that occurs as a result of adverse external influences so this is an emotionally condition that we occur in our mind or uh, that means uh, which are due to the external causes so body's uncertain response to uh, the demand made on it or you can say it uncertain response of your body due to the external activities or external influences so the stress can be defined in many other methods one is that is research defined the stress as a, a physical mental or emotional response to events that causes bodily or mental uh, tension simply i can say it, stress is an outside force or event that has an effect on our body or mind so this is about the stress has a different meanings uh in order to keep our simply as a definition is stress develops inside in our body due to the external forces or due to external uh, influences or conditions so the next level next slide please what are the sources of the stresses now that is personal pressure to succeed so every time 
what we achieve is we have to get or we have to uh, increment ourselves in a professionally succeeded so that creates pressure on our side so that automatically it creates stress on our mind and the financial problems so this is the most common of everyone that is financial problems and the relationship problems and the holidays so many more holidays will also leads to the production of stress in between the academical activities so far so these are the main sources of creating the stress and uh, as a result of this stress what i will the result will be the increased heart rate and the sleeplessnesses and anxiety and variable appetite so the mood changes or mood swings continuously because of the development of the stress so next slide please so there are two types of stress that is long term stress as well as the short term stress so long term stresses is nothing but being in panic mode all the time that means uh, that is you are successful in your career is your long term stress so when you continuously thinking about the settlement process you are always in your panic mode all the time so this results in your learned helplessness though you are helpful to others or though you are able to achieve the task but because of this uh, mood swings in your mind you should not able to complete the task in appropriate time so this also leads to your numerous health problems and can leads to burnout or it leads to your uh, uh, that is a disasters of your uh, personal life this is about your long term stress and these uh, relatives uh, that is uh, associates uh, with their long term stress the next slide please so managing stress is uh, one of the way to manage the stress is redirect into your work now once you feel the work whatever you handling the task is pressurized now simply you divert it to another work or you keep yourself leisure or give a small break right so that you until you are again regain energized uh, you should keep yourself as a break or redirect into your work next one is uh, exercise so and then next one is uh, keep a regular schedule at what time you should eat sleeping and everything that means maintain a regular schedule and the next one is eliminate or reduce the sources of stress most so if you think sometimes the stresses are related to other persons but we will carry that stress so if you think those are not required to you then you should try to eliminate or reduce that level if you are unable or unable to do this task then you can seek the help or advice from others so how can we able to manage our task regularly and so that this we can maintain the stress level at the reduced parameters the next slide please so factors which waste time and cause stress is procrastination that means uh, what are the factors which influences time manage waste time management as a result of time waste management it causes stresses so generally we feel it while doing in our organization we will postpone the work this is our uh, scenario because of various reasons what we will today it is not possible tomorrow i can complete or tomorrow is not there if we'll go it uh, day after tomorrow like this we will uh, procrastinate that means uh, i am not doing the work today but i am prolonging the work to complete the task tomorrow so these result in at one day the task will be completed with a huge pressure so this is what i uh, have to this uh, procrastination is one of the factor and guilt was happened in the past so we tried something in the past but it is failed that experiment was failed and we experience as a bad result so that is what was happening in the past we think continuously at the today situation also and because of that situation we feel uh, difficult to implement a new uh, task in the future so that's what the one of the reason which creates also the stress and due to the past incidents happen in our life either in professional or personal we are will worry about the future right so this is the one of the case and one of the most that is not able to say no see we have completed our own work and we are want to implement another new work but meanwhile some others asked you 
complete their work but you know that it is not your work in your way but uh, at that case i cannot able to say no if i am going to do others work that means i am going to live in others life also next is not organized that is personal and professional and uh, since we are not pro since we are morely procrastination that means since we are morely prolonging our work we could not set the goals if we are goals are not uh, not set yet, no plans have been made to implement or to achieve the goals if there are no goals and no plans there will be no fruitful results so this is the factors which waste uh, time and uh, which leads to the stresses the next slide please see the time and stresses are realized by the stephen coe's time management uh, matrix so here the any task is based upon the two parameters that is important and urgent so these are again classified as uh, four quadrants the quadrant one is uh, the first is whether it is important uh, that means uh, the quadrant one relates to the all the tasks which are important and uh, urgent quadrant two relates to the task which are important but not urgent the third quadrant is related to the task that is which are not important but it should be urgent so fourth one is not important not urgent so based upon these uh, task fulfilling that is important and urgent the matrix has been developed by stephen coves the next slide please so the first one is here the case of the important and urgent now so this is what is important and urgent is all this work it is a framework this matrix is a framework for organizing your time and prioritizing tasks for optimum effectiveness so it depends upon your important and urgent so the first quadrant requires your immediate attention so that means important and urgent requires your immediate uh, attention so the task which comes under the case of important and urgent is health emergencies and work deadlines so all this is your comes into your important and urgent so that is your crisis crisis that means crisis pressing problem that is pressurized conditions to work and next one is deadline that is nothing but so your project should be completed with a prescribed time within before the prescribed time so all these meetings preparations which are not uh, um, prepared but you should know you should be attended so that means all these tasks will come in the case of important and urgent so this is the case of your quadrant one where the related to is crisis that is very important things to be handled and next one is the pressing problem very emergency so that you should attend for example in this uh, example of this urgent and uh, uh, important is health emergencies and work deadline so if you have the health emergencies you should attend that uh, it is important to you as well as the urgent to you in order to do some actions so in the case of quadrant one you should immediately act the next one is the second quadrant give you an extra please so this is the first one is nothing called it as quadrant of urgency so in this quadrant of urgency we manage we produce we bring our experiences and respond to many needs and challenges so this is the what in the urgency means we have to develop or we have to act or we have to maintain the schedule based upon previous or the past experiences and the judgments made by several people taking their advices we need to act so this is called quadrant of urgencies now all this becomes urgencies because of due to procrastination so that's what we have to do it for example let us take see here uh, there is a mid examination in our criteria so they have asked you to submit your uh, uh, so your uh, exam paper so and so on or before so and so date now what we have to do it till that time what we will do it we will think that there is a extreme time to complete the task so we will be there up to tomorrow's last uh, schedule of time also 
but at that moment you want to produce a leaf then how critical it is now in order to apply a leaf then what they will others will ask now sub uh, uh, please submit your question paper and then you can leave now it becomes uh, because of your long procrastination now it is very emergency to work it so that is the quadrant of urgency because generally the urgency quadrant so that means urgency actions will occur due to the procrastination of a, any task so the next one is a quadrant to two and may can you move to the next slide quadrant to two means in this task we plan we prepare so we uh, while we are planning and preparing it we can prevent what are the difficulties occur that in the task and we will estimate what are the at what time this uh, task will be completed and the relationship building so meantime we will communicate with others so that the relationships also automatically increases so this quadrant will be called as quadrant of quality so next slide please so in this quadrant of quality this is where we do our long range planning to complete the task and anticipate and prevent the problems and empower others and broaden our minds and increase our skills so that means uh, in this uh, uh, quadrant of quality it benefits you in longer term so if you are ignore the quadrant two that means uh, if you fail to plan or to do a task automatically your quadrant two goes on decreasing simultaneously quadrant one will go on increasing what that means every task you should be done emergency under emergency cases so if you are continuously doing every activity under emergency conditions your work pressure will be more and uh, once your work pressure is very high to bearable or to achieve more than your limit then it is difficult to handle every task you will get frustrated so that frustration may shows you either in pro the effect either in professionally or in a personal cases so in order to avoid those quadrant one condition you have to expand quadrant two that is quadrant of quality in which we have to plan and execute properly of your each and every task so the next slide is so the next one is here uh, quadrant three so in this quadrant three that i will call it as a uh, urgent not important so this quadrant three will also called as quadrant of deceptions so that means uh, here not important to me but it is urgent to me for example you are in a leave you have available leave and you have also all submitted all the data while you are on a leave you are just availing the leave but some of the people are in order to get the information from that right from others from the department they have called to me but the, actually the call is not related to me so it is not important but it is very urgent to pick up a call and how to answer it so this is what the quadrant three that is called quadrant of deception that means which includes making phone calls or going to meetings in some cases what we will do instead of uh, head of the department we have to attend so actually that import that meeting is not important to me but it is very urgent to me to attend it so this is the uh, some reports some meetings many proximate pressing matters and many popular activities will comes under the case of the quadrant of deceptions the next quadrant is q4 so next slide please right so in this q quadrant of deceptions this is uh, uh, this is no value this is a fourth quadrant of the next one is the quadrant of deception is uh, next fourth quadrant that is uh, this is trivia busy work some phone calls time wasters escape activities irrelevant mail excessive tv watching so this is not important and not urgent so this is nothing but this quadrant will be called as a quadrant of waste so just for time pass chit chatting with others and all these uh, activities is, will comes under the case of your quadrant four which does not have any value to your life so this is about your entire the time and management stress management is expressed in terms of your matrix activities next slide please 
so that is your quadrant of waves that is when we are tossed around in q1 and q3 that means uh, we are not able to work in your q1 when the first quadrant and third quadrant we often escape to quadrant 4 for survival that means uh, if you are fully hectic with your work pressure now what you will do you will skip from that work you will or you will try to skip from that work and automatically you will uh, in order to escape from that work you will involve with some other work which is not helpful to you so this is nothing but quadrant of waste so it is not recreational things because of implementation of things just we are wasting our time but it is not at all reproducible it not produce any reproducible activity so quadrant four is not survival but it leads to a deterioration next slide please so balance your life it is very important once to balance in life because we recognize each aspect of life whether it is professional personal you should pay attention to it so everyone will say it that i cannot able to balance the family as well as the professional life but doing the work in a right way in a right manner at appropriate time by doing this we can manage everything and properly planning so this is what we can how there are different methods to balance your life so because since 80 percent of a day we will spend on at work so this is our criteria so most of the cases we need to fulfill our professional careers where we will make more stresses by at that our professional cases so the next case is so this is your how you have to manage the time and the stress management ma'am shall you to produce the next slide please so thank you uh, for your the people we, we for being patient and uh, listening this uh, about the topic of time and the stress management so any other choice to ask Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. The session is open for discussion now. You can post your questions in the chat box or you can unmute and directly interact with the resource person. Thank you. can post your questions in chat box also. Ma'am? Yes, sir. Shall I leave? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are, I think there are no questions, sir. So. Okay. Shall I leave, ma'am? I have some other work to attend. Yes, sir. On behalf of IIT Academy, I thank Dr. Pawan Kurma, sir, for the very informative and uh, detailed session. And we thank you again, sir, for the uh, nice and beneficial presentation. Thank you very much, sir. I thank all the participants for joining the session also. Thank you for the feedback form is the link that has been posted in the chat box. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. And thank you all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for giving this effort. Thank you, sir.
Please submit the feedback form using the link that has been posted in the chat box. Thank you all.